Hey there Bixby developers. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simulated device for Bixby Home Studio. Check out our Bixby Home Studio introduction and quick start guide videos to learn how to get started with Bixby Home Studio. Link to those will be in the description below. So let's talk a little bit about simulated devices first. This is a great way to try out Bixby Home Studio even if you do not have a SmartThings compatible device. However, you must have a Samsung account and a SmartThings account and they must be using the same email. Do keep in mind that in order to have a SmartThings account, you'll need to download SmartThings, whether it's on your Android phone or iOS even, and sign up for an account there. Then after that, all we have to do is go to graph.api.smartthings.com. So here we are at graph.api.smartthings.com and then just simply click login. And this will prompt you to log into your Samsung account. Now, my, mine already had the uh, information, I guess, saved and stuff, so it automatically logged me in. So now that we're logged in here, go to My Locations, and here we can see that I do have my home location. I'm going to click on Devices just to show you guys what devices I have here. I have two devices, the Smartish Plug from the previous tutorial, as well as um, my Super Omega Cube Air Purifier. But now what's important is that we've actually... Um, confirm that I do have a location, which is my home. Now, if we go to my devices, we can click on add new device. So here you just fill this stuff out. I'm going to name this one a simulated switch and the device network ID. You can really put anything here because it's just a simulated switch. So I'm just going to put, just put something here. And for the type, we want to scroll down to simulated switch. And there we go. So we now have a simulated switch. Now we do want to select a location for it and we don't have a hub or a group. Let's just click create. And there you go. We've created the simulated switch. Now you do need to actually select something for the location from earlier, but um, you just need to add a location to your smart things as well as go to my locations and check it out. So next let's go to Bixby Home Studio, which is at bhs.bixbydevelopers.com. So I'm gonna create a new project and we now have the simulated switch as an option here. And we can select the Bixby voice category for a power switch and we can select these options right here. So now just click main and then we're gonna name this project something and it's gonna be the potato peeler 9000 done. So let's see if this can actually do anything. And the graph is empty right now, but that's okay. We also have some documentation and sample graphs available on the Dev Center that you can copy and paste yourself. The link to that will be in the description below. And I have imported six nodes for us to check out. And let's see if it works. There we go, the device is off. So you'll notice that I actually added a bunch of uh, JSON there to get this done. But you can play around with these nodes. You can start by trying to copy these nodes over, right? So you have start, attribute, and you can do the main, equals to, response, response, right? So if you guys want, you can try um, kind of creating this graph yourself. But yeah, just for the sake of this example, I just copied and pasted some JSON that I knew would actually work. So yeah, that's just a quick way to get started with a simulated device for Bixby Home Studio. And hopefully you guys have an idea of how to at least kind of get started with it to play around with the possibilities in Bixby Home Studio. Let me know if you found this video helpful. And perhaps in the next video, I'll actually create these graphs from scratch with this simulated switch instead of simply just copying and pasting in the JSON there. So yeah, that's it.